guys, Jen here at the Rogue Homestead. So today we are going to plant in our second green stock, and this is one of the originals. So this has a deeper um, container on each on each bucket here. It's way deeper. If you compare it to the leaf, which is right here, kind of beside me, if you guys can see it, um, it's it's almost two of the size of the leaf planter. So I'm going to um, put all my soil in these. Each one of these contains, uh, can hold up to one cubic foot of soil. So, and I've got five of them here. So I'm just going to put soil in them and then stack them. I've got a mobile, uh, show you guys. It's one of the movable stands. So this spins just like that one and then I've got the wheels on it and then it's got the drain spout. So I'll stack it on there and then I'm gonna plant cucumbers, beans, and um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do in the top row yet, but we'll see. So let's get to planting. So one of my soil bags is two cubic feet. Spilt some here. Um, so I should be able to fill two of my two of my little layers here. So I think that the bottom two layers, I'm going to um, do cucumbers because I've got little trellises. I'll show you guys um, how I put those up. Okay, there we go, it snapped in. So on there, there's a quite a few little lines. Um, and you need to make sure it kind of snaps. And again, these have little drain holes. I'll show you on the very top. But these have little drain holes and you wanna make sure each one of the drain holes faces one of the buckets. Perfect. And then another one. Now there's little feet on these again and they just snap snap in together and you'll feel it kind of drop in on there and see look it spins okay number two there we go get two more of my buckets out so I can do all three of them too. Dump my soil. <clears throat> I got the the trellis system that I'm going to show you guys. I'm really excited about it. Um, so because these buckets are bigger, I'm able to do. Um, Vining stuff. I could even do peppers and tomatoes in here if I wanted to. I am going to do some bush beans um, and see how that goes. So it's bottom two tiers I think are going to be cucumbers. And then uh, the next two I'm going to do bush beans in each one bush bean in each pocket. And then Justin got me some tomatillo seeds. So I was thinking about trying those and just trying to start them from seed and see how they do. Even though I probably should have started those seeds a little bit earlier, but. Okay. 
that in. There we go. Snapped in. Another tray. Little holes facing each pocket. Okay, so here is, I told you that I would show you the different layers. So here's my pot, and here is the white um, drain bucket. So do you see those little holes right there? Those little holes. So when you place it on here, you put those holes toward a bucket, because that's where the water is going to come out. So it just sits in there like that. Another cucumber. So we're going to see how these do. They say sometimes that cucumbers do not like their roots messed with and that they have a hard time coming back from it. So we'll see. hard to see because it's a little bit under that bucket but it'll start growing out I really like how easily these spin so now the rest of these I'm just gonna throw like two seeds in one two you can see them I'm just gonna take a handful of dirt boom right on top pat it down just a smidge next one one two and throw a little dirt on it. Perfect. Okay, it's starting to get a little bit windy out here. <coughs> um, but now I have three bean plants that Justin bought me that um, I'm gonna put in here. So you can see how you plant already planted plants in them, which is just the same as I showed you with the cucumbers. We're also gonna see how well um, these bean plants do after messing with their roots. So hopefully they're gonna be good. And then I'll show you how to put the trellis on after I'm done planting all these seeds. These are bush beans. So these are just gonna bush up they might need a little bit of support, um, 
but nothing obviously like the cucumber vines that we're gonna that I'm gonna have they're definitely gonna need to climb something I hope the audio turns out okay it's starting to get a little bit windy I'm so excited to be doing so much planting today it was already 80 degrees we played soccer we did some baseball with the kids already this morning now they're down for some quiet time so what a perfect time other than now to film while they're resting up a little bit okay it needs a little bit more okay so now so I'm now planting my bean seeds so some people which I have done this in the past before too. I have pre-soaked my bean seeds because they're really hard and thick. So it takes a while for them to get soaked enough so that they can germinate. These particular ones, I have not pre-soaked and that's okay. I'm just gonna make sure that my soil stays really moist and I water them consistently. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to install this um, trellis system that comes uh, with green stock. So you have your first piece, looks like this. Okay, and these snap on right, right there. So you just take it and you kind of get it in that crevice and it snaps on just like that. See if I can get this. Oh, at a good angle so everybody can see. There. Okay. So then we're going to take another piece. And hook it on right there. Okay. Now you have other pieces. So this is a big, long circular piece. And this end you see has a circle. And then this end has a little hook right there. So you take it and I put that in there. It snaps on. And then I'm gonna start going this way and we'll end on that other one. Okay, I'm gonna hook another one of these on. Right there. And now, I'm gonna put this tip in there and then bring it down and it snaps. And then the other end is going to snap in there like that. So if I wanted to, instead of putting that other end in first, I could do like this, put this guy in there. You could do it however you want, however was best, easiest for you. So now I'll need another, this piece. And snap it in. So this is going to make a trellis for my cucumbers to climb on. And, and it'll kind of hold, it can brace my beans too. They're going to be bush beans, so they'll be pretty stable, but in case I need it for those too. Okay. Then. And then my cucumbers 
can come out. I might put one down here on the bottom because I have three of them. So I might do one on the bottom, one here, and then one above it so that my beans can grow or my cucumbers can grow out and also up from each pocket. So yeah, I will start clipping the rest of these guys together and see how it goes. Okay, it's getting a bit windy again, but here we go with trellising the very top. So I, me and Justin chatted, because I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do my trellis, like which layers, because I bought, we bought three of the trellis pieces and um, I was trying to figure out how do I want this to trellis because my tomatillos are going to need support. Um, my cucumbers for sure are going to need support. And my beans, they might. Because bush beans do kind of, even though they're bushes, you know, they do get a little bit tall. So um, I was just kind of brainstorming with him. And I we decided to switch the uh, tomatillos that were on the top and a set of beans. So now there's a set of bush beans on the very top and the tomatillos are the second from the top. And we did that so that the tomatillos can grow from, so like if here's this pocket right here, uh, it can grow up and come through and be supported because they're like a tomato. So they'll be supported on this and um, yeah, because eventually, so the beans might need some support but the tomatillos for sure will. So. We're gonna see how that works out and if we need to get more trellises and move things around we totally can do that so I just skipped this one here this trellis is so a system is so easy to put together Awesome. So there we have it. Let me take you guys off of this really quick and I'll show you how it looks. All put together. So I've got the two in the bottom for my two cucumbers. And then I've got a row of beans. My tomatillos are um, the second from the top right there. And then at the very top I switch and that's the bush beans now so the tomatillos can grow up through these little holes. But look at that, perfect. I'll let you guys know I'm gonna water it and we're gonna watch it. I'll keep you guys updated. We did it complete, filled the original green stock. I really do like how deep these pockets are, um, how much root space there is and the different varieties of vegetables I'm gonna be able to grow in this. So the trellis system was extremely easy to put together. I will keep you updated on how well it stands up to the wind, how well the plants trellis on it, how I liked my placement of everything, what I would do differently throughout the season. So um, you guys keep your eyes peeled for that. And if you got something out of today, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button and subscribe to us. We really appreciate your guys' support. And as always, I hope you have a great day, no matter where you are.